there are three different ways to transform data in SPSS. If you have a positively skewed data, three options available to transform this data if they are non not normally distributed, either to use log 10, square root, or reciprocal transformation. So those are the common methods of data transformation in SPSS for positively skewed data and data that are not normally distributed or data that have an outliers in it. Here I have a data that are labeled as PS. And the first step in data analysis is to explore the data, look at the distribution of the data, check whether the data are normally distributed or, or not. There are several different methods to do that, and I've already explained that in different video clips. Um, here in this uh, video, I'm going to choose the explore function. So to check the distribution of the data, you just click on analyze, descriptive, explore. We said this, and I'm going to move the data in this box into the dependent list. And I'm going to untick the histo stem and take the histogram and then take the normality plot with test. Click on continue and I'm not going to make any further changes. If I click on the OK button, three tables generated with histogram and QQ plots and also box plot. Here in this descriptive, you can see that these data are not normally distributed as there is a skewness, which is point 997 nearly 1 and the standard error is 0.2 so that's nearly fivefold the second or the third table is the test of normality this is the table where we can determine from it whether the data are normally distributed or not by using two independent different tests for normality and these data shows this statistical test shows that these data are not normally distributed. Why? If you look at the histogram, we can see here that this data is skewed toward the right. Uh, tails are heading to the right, to the positive uh, values. Uh, so, and with this, with this data that are not normally distributed, we cannot use the parametric test for the analysis analyzing this data. So to use this parametric test, we need to transform the data. And to transform the data, as I mentioned in the briefly, that we have, we have three different ways, either through log 10 or square root of the data or through uh, reciprocal uh, transformation or inverse transformation in another way. So. To do transformation for log 10, click on transform, compute variables or variable. In this window, I'm going to call the variable that will be generated log 10, the positively skewed data. So that's, this basis will name the variable log 10. 10 positively skewed and I'm going to look through the log 10 in the function group under the uh, arithmetic scroll down to log move the log to the numeric expression and I'm going to do a log 10 for the this data which is positively skewed data if I click on the ok icon a column is generated with log 10 positively skewed and as it's shown here these data 
has been produced and to check whether these data transform data through log 10 are normally distributed or not again we use the function of explore and i'm going to move the log 10 under the positively skewed data and i'm going to click on ok again a table descriptive generated for both ps and log 10 again as we can see here that Transforming the data using log 10 has Im improved the distribution of the data toward normality. So it's reduced from 0.9 to 0.45, which is really a, a very encouraging sign. If we looked at the test of normality, again, we can see that by these both tests, there is really a this data has been transformed to become normally distributed and these tests show that these data transform data with locked and are normally transformed are normally uh, distributed again if we look at the histogram for this data again there is certain degree of normality so using the log 10 has managed really to transform the data from non-normal to normal the second one I'm going to use also square root in this case reset I'm going to call this square root positively skewed data click on uh, arithmetic look for square root square root is here move the square root to the numeric expression and I'm going to do square root for the positively skewed data positively skewed data and if I click on the OK again SPSS will generate a column a variable with skew R square root positive skewed data and to check the distribution of the data I'm going to move the square root transform data into the dependent list click on ok again spss will generate a table now contain the untransformed data which is which is not normally that is not normally distributed log 10 that is fairly normally distributed and square root again square root has reduced the skewness from 0.9 to 0.7 if we look at the test of normality you can see that here that doing a square root of the data in fact has not transformed the data from non-normal to normal so so we need to keep looking for again this is the data need to, to do a third transformation which is the inverse and hopefully this also can transform the data to do inverse or reciprocal transformation click on compute then we're going to call that inverse as it is going to be inverse and to do the inverse we do one divide that by the data which is positively skewed and if i hit the bottom for click on ok name container legal sorry inverse one uh, bs okay Again, SPSS has generated a third column that has did an inverse or reciprocal transformation of this data. Now, what I'm going to do to explore the distribution of all three outcomes compared to the positively skewed original data that are not normally distributed. So SBSS now will generate a table of which descriptive table that has all the mm, untransformed, not normal, positively skewed data, log 10, square root, and inverse. And if we head down to inverse, we can see that in where in, in reciprocal transformation, in fact, has really improved the distribution of the data toward normality. 
and the skewness is 0 0.05. If we look at the test of normality using this table, we can see that the untransformed data are not normally distributed, the log transformed data normally trans distributed, square root has not managed to rescue the data or transform the data to become normal. However, inverse has really managed to transform data from being non-normal skewed into normal distribution. So out of these three ways of transformation, log 10 and inverse transformation has really succeeded in transforming the data from being not normal to normal and thus it is possible to use parametric tests with this transformed data but not with the untransformed data so transformation is a critical step that can be used occasionally to try to transform the data from being non-normal to normal